Welcome to Couch Cocktails. I'm Jenny. Today we will be making a clover club. This classic sour is so, so, so delicious. It's actually super easy to toss together. It's nice and tart, but also a nice balance with the sweetness. It's got that nice velvety froth on top, really easy drinking. So to make one, you will need now you don't need to use gin, you can just make a mocktail version and it's delicious either way. Um, so you can use no gin or you can toss in some green tea as a substitute. Um, otherwise, you got your gin, we've got fresh lemon juice, we've got a simple syrup which is just equal parts hot water and sugar, we've got some fresh raspberries, just need a few, and then our egg or our egg substitute. So hop on the couch and let's open up. Let's get started by muddling our raspberries into our syrup to make a nice raspberry syrup. So I'm gonna do one ounce of simple syrup, a few raspberries, three or four, and just give it a nice muddle. You can use your back of a wooden spoon or a muddler, and you can use a mason jar or your small tin here. So just go for it. Give it some good muscle. So you really want to infuse that raspberry flavor into the syrup. Make it come out nice. Smells good, looks good. Next, one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Always, always fresh. And you don't need to add gin to this um, if you wanna do a mocktail version, but since we're making a cocktail, I'm gonna add an ounce and a half of gin. And now for our egg, um, you can use an egg substitute like aquafaba, which is chickpea liquid, or there's a miracle foamer as well you can get. Um, or if you want to go the classic route, go, go for the egg. Have no fear. It's delicious. Um, so we're going to do egg white. So we're just going to crack this guy open and separate out the egg white right over the tin. So you've got the yolk there. Just toss the yolk back and forth and let the whites fall into the tin. Nice. If you don't feel like separating it out, you can toss the whole egg in there. Um, it'll still be really delicious. It'll just have a slightly richer texture, um, but it's really, really good too. We're gonna shake this guy twice to get it some really nice foam on top. Um, so first I'm gonna shake it with ice um, you can shake without ice first and add ice later if you want. I just find the foam turns out really nice um, doing ice first. So, I'm going to add some ice. Nice. Give it a nice hard shake. Really nice pink color to it. Um, so to strain off the ice, I'm just gonna strain the liquid into my little tin. Make sure to get all of the goodness in there. And then just toss the ice. Now I'm gonna go for another shake. So that first shake with ice, we call that a wet shake. And now this is a dry shake without ice. And just, yeah, give it a good shake because this is the part where we're not overly diluting it because there's no ice in here. Um, so we just are working to get that really nice velvety froth. So once you feel like you've given it a good shake, just shake a little bit more. Nice. Thank you. 
And so I'm going to use a fine strainer as well to catch the ice shards and just make sure that froth has a really nice even texture on top. So just gonna go ahead and strain that. That is so pretty. Give it a little tap. And now, if you'd like, you can toss a raspberry on top. Clover Club. Cheers.